Hello, I'm Andres Castrillon, president of Consensus International. In this video, I'm going to show you how to close the year in SAP Business One. Uh, the difference with uh, Macola, where you have only one possibility to do closing of the year, is that in SAP Business One, you could do as many closings as you want. You could even uh, do a closing, a preliminary closing on the 2nd of January, and then enter additional transactions and adjustments and do additional closing as needed. You're going to love the way that SAP handles the end-of-the-year processes. Thank you. The, the other uh, important uh, uh, comment that I want to make regarding closing is that a year-end in, in SAP is super simple to do. I don't, uh, I don't really need to get uh, 10 backups and get confirmation from anybody that uh, we won't have any other transactions for the previous year. And then, uh, you know, uh, order mass and bless and not you don't have to do that so <laughs> right um, so I could for example I could do this let, let I'll show you this let me say that I'm my friend John Q windows oh, let me do it this way um, let me duplicate this is this a cancellation? Maybe it is. Close and cancel it. Cancel the yeah. Let me see if I can duplicate this one. No. This one. Duplicate. I'm going to duplicate this invoice. And this is going to go to Mr. John Q. Windows. I'm going to use his pricing or tax codes. Let's use exempt. And let's say that this is something that I forgot to invoice on December of last year. Okay. Let me see if I can do that. So the period was open. I, re I opened the period before, right? So I could do that in 2018. I, I already closed 2018. But now I could come here and do a year-end closing for the year 2018, which I had done before. And it's telling me, yeah, you have a couple transactions it open for last year. I just pick them, say I want this to be Counted for in December 31st, 8, 2018. I executed and I have done an additional end of the year close, right? So that is really handy. Especially for the salespeople, you know, they, they want to close the year on December 38th sometimes. That's useful. Yeah, so thank you for asking. So I had the posting periods here. Um, so I have authorization to do that. I could come here and I could unlock, accept sales, or I could lock it. The reason why, yeah, the reason why I was able to is because it's not locked. Yeah, and I could automatically lock it. I could say lock everything for sales on the first day of the month and keep it open two days, maybe for accounting or three days or five, and then lock it. And the, uh, you know, the control could go in, open a period, enter a transaction and post it. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video that was uh, recorded live in a workshop, as I mentioned before. Uh, I hope you enjoy the way that uh, SAP closes the year and the fact that you could do as many closings as you want.